Paul Casey. But a song two by Blur. to try and avoid the dreaded drop zone. Oh, a long bunker shot from Deshambo there. He hit it 400 yards off the tee. Into the... It's a good line. It's a really good line. Oh! Let's go. Paul Casey of the Crushers. His second shot at 18. <laughs> His score is counting so far today, and that is delightful. The crush is 22 under. You have to believe in yourself. Is that something a player can learn at this stage? Uh, yeah, I do believe that. I think we all know from the driving range to the first tee and the next 18 holes after that, you have to believe in yourself. You know how to execute. You practice hard enough. With because of an equipment change, but uh, he's back, and he's still pretty good now. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Nearly perfect. Stalks the green. We'll take you to his captain, Bryce and DeChambeau. His second shot at 10. Another colossal tee shot. 10th, 626 yards, and there's a chance for Eagle. That's some strong curry there. How did that get to the hole? That was perfect. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Explore that. Even Bryson DeChambeau could barely believe what he's just done. Yeah. Another look at it from here. Just gives you an indication of how much swing there was on it. What a great effort. <laughs> that was roughly 86 feet. And Bryson, who is four under par today, and the Crushers are the big movers on Championship Sunday. They're eight under par today alone. They've got to 26 under overall. They lead by two. Pounded that one down the center of the fairway. Uh, season opening events, if you remember, back in February, March in Mayakoba, Mexico. He also helped the Crushers to their first victory as well, and that's the birdie. Oh. About Bryson DeChambeau in the individual competition and for his Crushers. Another birdie for Bryson. And for par at 15. <laughs> That's a two putt right there. What a great save by Bryson de Jambo to stay at 10 under par and maintain the Crushers' two stroke lead over the Fireballs. Bryson with the driver at 16. Looking after it anxiously. Nice job, Bryson. Nice job. Way up there. Magnificent and remarkable 58. Such a unique player. Yeah, brilliance from Bryson DeChambeau. And he needs that one and a few more. Well, it became a four shot lead, albeit temporarily, because of this a few moments ago. Charles Howell, the third. That was for his birdie at three. Excellent shot. Bryson DeChambeau is on fire once again on Championship Sunday. He's got it to 12 under par. The Crushers, 32 under par. Don't write this man off yet. He's seven under today. Bryson DeChambeau, his second shot at the first. He 
he's just scenting something special in the air here in Chicago. Didn't stop that out of the rough with a little wind yeah. helping, baby. Here he is on the tee at two. This could be the pivotal hole of the entire competition. This is a big tee shot. He likes it, or he doesn't hate it. Oh, he should love it. Both Charles Howell the third and Paul Casey both three under as well. Yeah, and if I'm Hollow and uh, Jerry and David, you know, the other thing with Sebastian. Slav will get a little bit more spin out of this. It's only a flick from that tee shot. <laughs> the early start of the day, three shots behind Sebastian Munoz. He turned it around. But who could have predicted another scintillating round of golf from Bryson DeChambeau? The pride of Pune, India. Anna Van Lahiri has missed it. Heartbreak. And Bryson feels Anna Van Lahiri's pain, but it's another staggering performance by the bonkersly brilliant Bryson DeChambeau. He started the day eight shots off the lead, and in the end, he's crushed the dreams of his teammate Anna Van Lahiri to win Live Golf Chicago by one. Joining Captain Bryson DeChambeau and Anuban Lahiri, it's Charles Howell III and Paul Casey. The Crushers cementing their top four aspirations. It's their second victory of the season, having won a uh, season opener in Mexico. Greg Norman. Greg Norman presents the trophy. Paul Casey there. Charles Howell the third as well. They've had two second place finishes. They've had two third place finishes. They are a force to be reckoned with heading into the end of season team championship. And what a day for Bryson DeChambeau and for the Crushers. Now, for those of you watching in the United States on CW Sports, it's time to say goodbye. We'll see you in three weeks' time at our next event in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. For everyone else, stay tuned for our continuing post-game show.